Hey, what's up YouTube? It's Brandon from Tattooing 101 and I wanted to go over something that I've seen quite a bit here lately. So I try to go through the comments any spare time I have, you know, to be able to help you guys out, reply when I can. But obviously, you know, we have a ton of people nowadays and it's getting harder and harder to keep up with everything. But one thing I've seen in the TikTok video that I posted about my stencil machine. First, you got to get rid of the onion paper in the middle of your spirit stencil stuff. So you put your design in between the yellow and the blue and put it in between the clear transfer sheet. Then you make sure your stencil printer is set on the right number and run it on through. Bright light. Oh yeah. And there you go. And I wanted to clarify a couple of things involved with that because, you know, people think, oh, the only way to get a good stencil is to spend a thousand dollars plus on a stencil machine. Now, I want to clarify and break down a couple of things. So it took me obviously 14 years to get a stencil machine of that caliber. Now, when I first started, it was my dream. I believed that I would never be able to afford one because they are so expensive. And it's been something that I wanted for a very long time, but it always seemed, I guess, last on my list of things to do, right? Because there's more important things that I could use on a daily basis. But finally came to the point to where I was like, you know, it'll make it easier on everyone in my shop, um, including me, being able to not waste as much stencil paper because you could cut out the design and put it through the film without wasting a whole sheet every time. Or hand stenciling, you know, after 14 years of hand stenciling, your hands get tired, you know, arthritis starts to build up after tattooing for so long, the vibration of the machine, and it gets annoying. So with everything in life, you know, you try to make things easier, and any time that you get into the realm of making things easier and, you know, saving time or saving on other supplies, that's when things get expensive, right? That's with anything in life. So I just wanted to touch base with that. And that goes with, you know, tattoo machines. There's great tattoo machines out there that are going to hold up better through time, which I made another video on um, as well when I talked about the different machines that you could possibly buy and why some are better. And with that being said, I hand stenciled everything for like seven years. Whenever I was an apprentice, obviously, that's all I was able to use. I was in a tattoo studio that had one for about two years and it worked awesome. I loved it so much. It was the old fashioned Thermofax machines and it made things a whole lot easier. So I was like, you know, eventually when I'm able to, I'm going to get one of these, even though it's so expensive, it's just peace of mind being able to uh, do it so effectively. Um, and then I opened up my own shop. Now from there, obviously I put a ton of money into the studio. I didn't have enough money to buy one of those. So I got one off Amazon. Now, for the people that don't want to spend $1,000, I was in your shoes. 1,000%, I completely understand that's a lot of money when you could invest in a machine or better equipment. And so the Amazon one works perfectly fine. You do have to waste a whole piece of stencil paper every single time. So for small tattoos, I recommend still hand stenciling them because, you know, stencil paper can be expensive, right? Which is another reason why I did invest in this because in the long scheme of things, I'm going to be tattooing for the rest of my life, you know, I have face tattoos. I don't plan on getting any other job as long as my hands are fine. This is what I'm going to be doing. So saving money on stencil paper will eventually pay for itself. Another thing is once you guys get into professional tattooing, all of these things are going to be able to help you out on your taxes at the end of the year. I bought this for my business. So therefore it does help out being a tax write off. So it's not just wasting money on things or, um, that I'm trying to show off the super expensive stuff um, because that's not the case at all. I literally just bought it. Um, I thought I'd make a video for you guys explaining how to use them because not a lot of people know, you know, I went seven years of my career without even knowing that they existed. Yeah, I feel like the more people I get, um, there's going to be more need for explanation. Um, so from here on out, I'll be more specific. Obviously for TikTok, it's a 15 second video. There's no way for me to be in detail and explain everything um, 100%. So from here on out, I'll do my best at explaining everything so people can understand that 
you know, the people that have been here from the beginning understand completely what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to help everyone out along their journey. That is what I'm here for. And I'm not trying to push crazy expensive things or saying that anything else is not up to par. You know, like I said, I hand stenciled for years, used a stencil machine off Amazon, and that worked perfectly fine for me. I just felt like it was time for me to upgrade. And obviously for tax reasons, it was a good time for me to invest. So these are the reasons that I do the things that I do. And, you know, not that I'm explaining myself to anyone online, but I want to be able to clearly break down everything and every reason that I do things because it'll clearly be able to help you out along your journey. Um, I don't feel like I have a need to explain everything I do in my life, um, but I do want to let everyone know all the pluses that come from getting better equipment eventually, you know, even if it's 10 years down the line, always wanting to build up your tattoo studio and evolve your tattoo studio to make things easier for the other people in your shop, not only yourself, will help you be able to keep artists as well. You know, just something as simple as a stencil machine saving them, you know, time and energy on having to hand stencil is a big plus, trust me. So, yeah, I just wanted to clarify that, and this will probably be my last video clarifying, you know, breaking down something that I do say unless, you know, for some reason something else comes up, which is definitely possible. Another thing I want to touch base on is if you sign up to our email list, we have a lot of great information that we send out every single week involving tattooing, so I highly recommend you check that out because um, it'll break down more things like this and also more intel when it comes to tattooing. So I'll leave a link in the description below, and you guys have an awesome day. Thank you so much for watching.